Hi guys! So I have some amazing news. If you watch my videos, you will know that I have a little apartment in the centre of Madrid that I have been trying to sell so that we can buy our first ever family home. I put my house on the market. I didn't really have high hopes because the property market in Spain is really slow. But <laughs> I couldn't believe it. After a week, I got made an offer. This Argentinian couple offered to buy my flat. The whole thing was really stressful, really quick. They basically just made the offer and said, we're leaving the country tomorrow. So if we're gonna go ahead with this, we need to organize it all today because tomorrow we're leaving. So they made an offer and I had to reject it because they didn't offer me enough money. So I rejected it, said sorry, thought that was the end of that. And then as soon as I rejected it, they phoned me back and made me a better offer. I had to reject again because it was still too low. Then they made me a third offer. I accepted and an hour later they were at my kitchen table. <laughs> and now they're gone and they'll be coming back. I think it's April time and we're gonna, you know, properly sign and that's it, my house is sold, my house is gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm so happy, can't believe it. Sometimes I phone psychics, okay? Like, I just like it, I like phoning psychics. I know this psychic and she's given me quite a few readings, like, I, I really like her. I said to her, oh you know, I really want to sell my house. And she said, why don't you say St. Joseph's Prayer for nine mornings in a row and if you say that, your house will sell. And I thought, okay, this is a bit dubious, but you know what, I was desperate and I was gonna do anything to sell my house. I printed out St. Joseph's Prayer and for nine mornings in a row, like every morning, I said St. Joseph's Prayer out loud. And then a few days after, I sold my house. <laughs> so, I don't know, like, I don't know if it was St. Joseph's Prayer, but it was a miracle that I sold my house. It really was, because as I said, the housing market is so slow. To get made a really good offer to buy my house, like for me that is a complete miracle. So maybe it was thanks to St. Joseph's Prayer and I sold my house, who knows, but I would recommend it. If you want to sell your house and you're having trouble, print out St. Joseph's Prayer, say it for nine mornings in a row, and apparently it's never been known to fail. And in my case, like, it hasn't failed. <laughs> now on to finding our family home. We've been in love with a house for a really long time. It's actually one of my English pupils. It's her parents' house. The problem is trying to get the money together to, to pay for it. When you walk into a house, you're looking for that feeling. Well, that's how I believe it. It's like you go into a house and when it's the house for you, you get this feeling. I got that feeling when we walked into this rental property. I love this rental property and I remember when we walked in, I was like, oh, I want this to be my home. My husband, he got a horrible feeling when we walked into this house and he's always hated this house. <laughs> The neighbours, they make a lot of noise. It really affects him. And it's funny because it's like your intuition, you know, from the second that he set foot in this house, his intuition told him that he wasn't going to be happy here. Someone's come to join me. We are now going to the bank to pay off my mortgage on my little apartment. I've still got a little small mortgage. I'm going to be debt free for like a week before we, well not a week, but we're going to be like debt free until we buy, you know, our family home. So normally before the bank, I get Amaya Kinder Egg, just so that while I'm at the bank, she can open her Kinder Egg. And we went to get some bread, and look what I found. A big! A massive, massive Kinder Egg. It's so big! It's so big! Okay, so she's a very lucky girl today. Just paid the mortgage off. They charged me like 650 euros for paying my mortgage off. I'm not happy. I can do a lot with 650 euros. <laughs> nah, but it's all right. At least that's it. I'm free. I'm debt free. Debt free until we buy our new house. So we just got back. Eva's having a nap. I feel nervous. I don't know why. Like, it's like the end of an era, you know? Like selling the house and buying a family home. But I know that in the UK, it's very easy to buy and sell houses. So people, like, maybe they don't think about it that much, but here in Spain, it is really difficult. It's really difficult to sell houses. So when you buy a house, it is kind of for life or for a really long time. 
so I don't know like I'm just starting to feel nervous I'm like are we doing the right thing are we doing the right thing by in a family home here in a little town in the outskirts of Madrid you know would I don't know it kind of makes you think about your life and so if somebody says to you oh, you need to spend the rest of your life somewhere I don't know it kind of scares you but then when you've got kids you need stability you, know, you can't be moving about countries all the time when you've got two kids you need to settle down somewhere and send them to school and so so yeah maybe this is the right thing you know buy a family home in this little town and put down our roots until we die <laughs> like I don't know I just never I don't know I'm just feeling weird like I'm shaky and stuff you know I'm gonna make lunch now John finishes at three today finishes at three on a Friday which is nice and then I have English class I'm going out to earn some money I just arrived at my English class about to go in now about to have dinner I bought a whole duck it was like really cheap as hell because it was out of date <laughs> so I hope it tastes okay it was out of date but it was frozen so I think if someone's frozen you can eat it out of date hopefully Phil Mars is it nice? mmm it's really good Emma? hi! well you've got duck in your mouth too you eat everything don't you? duck she's not a fussy eater at all duck 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 Maya's a little bit more fussy what's the Maya having? pizza pizza? yummy 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 Say hi. Hi. Say sleep. Pick. Pick. Say dog. Duck. Say duck. Duck. Say mommy. Mommy. Say daddy. Daddy. Say Amaya. Amaya. Seventeen months and you're saying most words. Clever girl. It is ten o'clock at night. I have been trying to get these children to bed for the last hour and they are having none of it. They're in the bedroom playing Barbies. Do you want to say something? Hi. <laughs> what are you playing with? What is, what is this? Smurf. <laughs> A vehicle smurf. A smurf. <laughs> Show your smurf. Where's your smurf? On my head. We got a massive kinder egg today. <laughs> Daddy's just zoning in it. There's your smash. Try not to break it. <sighs> right, okay. We're going to take a bet. Goodbye. Don't for what? Please subscribe to my channel. Don't make me really happy. I'm really much. I'll see you in my next video.